Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So it is day nine of the One Big Impact 30 day challenge share the love event. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, you're like, what's today's video? So th today's video is actually when you're uh, following a new lifestyle or Atkins or low carb or you've changed the way you're eating or you're on a diet or whatever the case is, how to find the support of your family and others around you. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is you're gonna move out. Just get all your stuff and move out. Cause it's not gonna work, they're not gonna support you. No, I'm just kidding. You're probably like, what the fuck? What just happened? No, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> you might have to do that, I don't know. It depends on how, uh, how <laughs> angry it gets. So the first thing is that you need to, if you're the primary person that cooks in the house, you may need to uh, actually alternate cooking nights. So say you're the woman or you're the guy or whatever that actually cooks every day. And that's okay, that's perfectly fine. But if you're that person, it might be easier for you not to be, you know, loading, you know, french fries and crisps and, you know, all kinds of spaghetti and stuff for all the family because yeah, that might be what they want to eat, but this is not what you want to eat. And at least until you're actually more better at saying no to these foods, you might want to alternate or just have somebody else cook. You know, have your husband cook, have your wife cook or whatever, if obviously they're on board. The next thing is, this probably should have been number one, this is number two. Have a talk with everybody. Have, this is probably, yes, this is definitely number one. They're like, wait, what? why do you want me to cook? Like, yeah. so have a talk with the people that you love. Either you can sit down and talk at a dinner table and say, hey, you know, I'm changing the way I'm eating because I wanna become healthier, I wanna, I wanna get more skills and I wanna lose weight, I wanna, I have a goal in mind. You know, and it might be easier to bring it up in front of the kids and your husband or your wife and everybody at the same time so that everybody's on the same page and that you all understand that, hey, I have a common goal in mind. I want to eat healthier. If you guys want to come with me, that's fine, but I'm not telling anybody they have to. I just wanted to explain people, explain to everybody, you know, if you're following Atkins or low carb or my meal plans or whatever it is, explain to them, hey, this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I would really like the kind support of everybody and usually when you sit down with family and you actually explain this to them, they're more apt to understand and they will definitely be okay with helping you out. You'd be surprised, you stress out about it, but you would be surprised how easy it is. Okay, one of the most important things, number three, is educate yourself and you're probably like, well, I'm educated on this, John. Well, if you're asking questions, you're definitely not educated on it. Of course, we're always gonna have questions and stuff like that, no matter, I guess that sounded like a jerk comment, but I didn't mean it like that. What I'm saying is if you have loads and loads of questions, then you need to go pick up a book, pick up like Atkins Essentials or something like that, and I'll put links to those in the description below. And yes, it does help me if you use those links in the description below. That being said, if you're more educated on what peop what you're doing, when people ask you, because they will, or they'll say, that's a bad idea, that's a horrible way of living, I can't live without carbs. If you're a debater, if you wanna debate these things, or if you wanna educate them, and actually gain the support of others, a lot of the times, personal education, if you can know more about what you're talking about than what they can tell you it's not, then you're going to be a lot better off. <clears throat> the next thing is, talk calmly about it. In any situation, if you're going to approach it aggressively, you're gonna get an aggressive response. I understand, hey, we're passionate about what we're doing, that's perfectly fine, that's acceptable, I understand that, but with your family or people that you're trying to gain support of, you need to make sure that you're calm, cool, and collected, otherwise, they're gonna come back at you aggressively and you're going to derail it from the beginning. So, very relaxed, when everybody's kinda of chilled out, maybe just bring it up naturally, it's no big deal. The next thing is ask your family and friends not to offer you foods. And you're probably thinking, well that kind of goes without saying, right John? It doesn't. A lot of people, if they think it's a joke to you or they think they can derail you or whatever, say, hey, I don't want you to offer me these foods. I'm really um, focused on achieving my goals and please, please, please support me on this or 
I'm going to fail and I don't want you to be part of my failure, I want you to be part of my success. And most people will say, okay, all right, I didn't know it was that serious to you, let's figure it out. If they're not, I mean, obviously if they're your kids or something, that sucks because you're stuck with them. <laughs> but if they're actually, you know, people that um, are your friends or whatever, maybe it's time to look for some new friends if they're not willing to support you on achieving your goals. Just saying. Uh, the next thing is explain <clears throat> explain that um, you need a section for foods that are specifically for you. So say you got eight people in the house and eight people, seven people, like everybody but you, are not following a low carb regimen. Well, explain to them that you are going to designate one spot in the cupboard, small spot, maybe you're gonna put a little Tupperware in there or something, and that's gonna be specifically for your foods only. To ask everybody not to touch them, ask them, you know, not to put anything else in there or whatever, you know, because people will tease you, people will throw stuff in there just to mess with you or whatever, all kinds of tricks and trades to derail you. So just ask them nicely, hey, this is gonna be my section, please leave my section alone. I'm going to put this, and if you live with maybe your roommates or something like that, get a little mini fridge, put it in your room, have your foods in there, and you can obviously put dry foods on top of your mini fridge or something like that. And that actually works really good. Um, I did that in the beginning of Atkins uh, because it really helped me stay focused because I didn't have to go to another fridge, I didn't have to go to the pantry, I didn't have to go to anywhere where anybody else's foods were. You know, my kids can make their own foods and stuff, so I just did that. The next thing is create a jar, and every time somebody offers you foods or teases you about what you're doing, they have to put a dollar in it. And at the end of the month, you get huge weight loss gains, and you get paid every time. It's kind of like the cuss jar, you know what I'm saying? You say bad words, and everybody puts a dollar in, or a quarter, or whatever. But every time somebody teases you, they are required to put a dollar in, and as soon as they put that dollar in, then they are required to give that to you at the end of the month. Keep that in mind. The next thing is, number eight, is tell them it, it's your journey, and you don't want to change anything the way they eat. You don't want to, you're not trying to force anybody to do what you're doing. You're only simply on a personal success journey, and you want to achieve that but you will need their support in order to do so. Don't ever go into something trying to force somebody else to eat a certain way because I promise you, most of the time, 90% of that time, that's gonna backfire. But the best way to get people on board is to show results. If you lose 20 pounds and your husband you know, has 20 or 50 to lose or whatever, and he sees you lose 20 pounds, I promise you, he's gonna wanna know what you're doing, how you're doing it, and then once they come to you, then be able to kindly share the knowledge of what you're doing and kinda of how it works, and if they need more help, just tell them to hit you up and let you know. And trust me, that feels a lot, lot better. Be relaxed when you talk about it. And I know every day goes by and we have energy spent up and we have different things that we're going through, but if anybody brings it up to you, if anybody, co-workers, everything. A lot of the times that's really hard because you go to work and people are like, oh, I brought cookies, I brought snacks, I bought cake, it's so-and-so's birthday or whatever. <laughs> that happens a lot. But if somebody comes at you aggressively, don't worry about it, just talk about it relaxed or change the subject. A lot of times you could say, oh, hey, how's Jimmy doing, blah, 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 blah. Change the subject or whatever. Don't get in arguments with people because then people are gonna see you as that person and they're always gonna target you and it's gonna get awkward, so definitely don't do that. The next thing is never fight about what you're doing, okay? If, if it gets to that extreme level, you need to just be quiet about it, don't bring it up, just eat your way, it's okay, it's, it's whatever. But don't ever bring it up when you're fighting, um, don't ever fight about it, don't ever come at this type of situation really aggressively because if you do with loved ones, kids, family or whatever, they're going to target you and they're gonna say, you are trying to change me or I don't wanna do that or whatever. So it's gonna be really hard for you to be able to succeed if everybody's against you. So always go into it with really kind hearted feelings and everything you guys and definitely keep that in mind. You guys, it's day number nine of the One Big Impact Share the Love event. I want you guys all to keep up the good work. If you wanna send anything to my home address for the prize winners, please do, uh, 7448 East Baseline Road, Mesa, Arizona, 85209. Also, if you're looking for customized meal plans, or we start at 25 bucks a week, so definitely let me know. And, oh, I don't have my bracelet on, I just got out of the shower. 
Uh, if you're looking for a bracelet that says be stronger than your be stronger than your excuses and healthy living for a healthy life, please let me know your address. Also, if you're wondering what Healthy Living for a Healthy Life is, it's our Facebook group and it is full of amazing members and we're growing. We're almost 2,000 strong, which is kind of high. I'm kind of getting a little bit freaked out. But if you're selling anything, definitely stay away because we're not interested in buying any magic pills or, or unicorn farts or whatever the hell you're selling because, I'm sorry, um, if you want to lose weight, it's all about changing the way you're living your life. It's not about a magic pill. You guys, keep up the good work. We are day number nine. I'm seeing some big numbers. I want everybody to have a kick-ass week this week. Seriously, let's learn from what didn't work last week. Let's put it into place this week, and let's make this a lasting adventure and journey. You guys, have a beautiful day. Hashtag be stronger than your excuses, and remember to spread love, not hate. Peace.